So yeah. you're happy with everything except for this? Well, it needs yeah. something. That's I think it needs stocking here. Yeah. And I okay. Like the I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what it is. Yeah. That was something I did early. It's beautiful. Okay. It is beautiful. It, is. it doesn't need much. It doesn't need much. But I'm going to show you what it needs. Um, so you are relying a little bit too much on, it's almost like a sketchy wash kind of thing. Yeah. And we could transcend that a little bit. So this is your shadow side, this is more the sun side. So what I would do is I would darken this. So you're, you're, you, you're not relying on your line to create that shadow shape. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that little bit of a shadow underneath. Um, I would love to bridge the palette a little bit more with this. So I see like the yellow rust sienna. I think we should add some of that into the building. And you know, although you didn't see it, it's going to help it. A little bit more of a shadow here, I think. I very rarely use brown for a shadow. You use indigo? I'm mostly yeah, using indigo. indigo. Yeah, I love my indigo. Um, Which one, though, do you use? The more? Mamari. Yeah. Uh, Daniel has Smith has one. Um, yeah, he has it here. Um, the Daniel Smith is, they have a Payne's gray blue, I think, um, which is, is very close. But as long as we could get our dragon's blood and, you know, um, is indigo. Is the I'd indigo go from Memorial a little greener or? If, if you. I think it's bluer. Blue, blue, it's bluer, bluer and, and it's, it's, got, it's warmer. That's what you're seeing. seeing. Okay. That's what you're seeing. I want to juice this up a little bit. So I'm adding a little violet. Do you see how it's just popping a little bit? It's so subtle, but when you drop color into a painting like this, what happens is, is that you start seeing all of the colors and it just makes it that much more interesting. I don't know what this is, but I like it. So I'm just gonna add to it a little bit. But rather than going with um, a brown or a, um, uh, a brown or, um, you know, like a Payne's gray, I would go with the complement. So I'm going to add the violet down here. Is this, did you say this was cobalt blue violet? Yeah, what is, is the name of it, Brian? I don't even know. Uh, it should be cobalt blue violet. Cobalt blue yeah, violet. Because I think I might want one of those too. I don't have that. I looked, I just checked. And that's one that I wanted. I'm going to take a little Quinn Gold, which, um, I think I told you guys, um, uh, <laughs> they're stopping manufacturing it. What's that one? Quin Gold, Quin Gold. and Quin Gold Deep. They're stopping oh. it? Because oh, no. oh, no. there's a couple of companies that carry Quin Gold, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are. Look at how the yellow's yeah. making that mm -hmm. pop. Do you see what's happening there? Yeah. Yeah. And I can achieve a nice shadow by using the complement. And it makes it much more alive looking. Wow. When you drop color into something, do both things have to be wet? Like the thing you're dropping the color onto, do you, you wet that Well, with the brush you don't first? have to. Like for instance, let's say I wanted to add um, a little color in between here, okay? Um, no, that's not a good example. What's a good mm. example? Let me think a second. Um, Like, the, okay, for an example, this was wet and I charged it with color. But if I want to have color in a spot and it's dry but I want it to move, then I take the tip of my brush and I just hit it with a little bit of water so that it moves a little bit. Sometimes when I try to drop color into something, it's wet and, it's, and what I'm dropping is wet and it looks too watery. It doesn't really have like a... Put less water and more color, and you'll get more color. And Look if at, you have to get wow. a little looser, you put, you wet the brush, right? And use a little water. 
Yes, if you want to do that. I either use too much water or not enough. Yes. It's very hard for me to... I know, that's why we... That is the thing. That's, that's what we're learning. <laughs> that, that totally is secret. it, guys. That's that's that, the mistakes I coming. I keep a little yeah, piece of paper, paper on the side. And yeah, and I tell A lot of people do that. I the technique first on my little side, side. paper, and then I go to put it so onto that's my right. actual it's like I just can't bring I myself to... Do that. Yeah, I keep. I just want to go right in. I can't. I know. I can't bring myself to do that. I always try out the color. I always try out my color. Yep. I don't know what this is. What kind of paper is this, Diane? Sometimes I like my scribbles. I think it's Strathmore. It's not great paper. I like my paper. I practice a little. And I like the blocks. So the way to do a tree like this is to have. The um, <laughs> it, it is, but it's a little more so because um, uh, what you want to do is like as if the branches are getting a little lost in the foliage. Now, is the tree in front of or behind? It's got to be in front of, right? So you got that line there. Huh. I can't okay. remember it was so first time when I started painting. <laughs> It looks like the trunk's going down in front of the roof. Yeah, it yeah. does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. All right, let me see if I could. In front of the looks, roof. It looks beside it. It looks almost like a pen and ink. It does. Yeah, it's, it's really very beautiful. fine and delicate. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. So I just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get rid of that. That look. Yeah. Well, if the sun is coming from there, then I could go a little shadowy on this side. Just, you know, I just want to put a shadow shape, so I'm taking a little bit of violet and I'm putting it on that shadow side of the tree. Just to trick the eye so you don't see that line. It's almost like you're seeing the line through it and not, um, you know, not on top of it. And then I could take that violet and I could just find some other little shadow shapes. Like It's almost like you have them here for me. Scumble brush. Mm -hmm. Scumble brush. You keep forgetting you have it. I should never forget I have it. <laughs> you know how trees have those like sort of mm -hmm. the dark shadow, brush. shadowy areas. Sorry, Ange. No, it's okay. <clears throat> you got it. Mm -hmm. no, you're quick. So I, Water this is. Water color is what we like, and then I can also start eventually like it's a oh, pencil change. Line, so the looser yeah. tree is yeah. more like. And it's not a color. big change. It's, really nice. it's not a big change, but it's. It is. It is. <laughs> it is. It's a huge change. <laughs> <laughs> you have a picture of it before. It I know. We should. I had it well, I have it on the video so actually. Right. That's right. Yeah. Bring it That's out. how you intended to do it, right? <laughs> All right, rivers at their very best, guys. <laughs> Coming through. Coming yep. on through. Yep. You need a little bit more color, which is fine. Because now when I drop the color and it's gonna the water's gonna suck it in both directions. <laughs> Go ahead, love it. Come on, work colors. Suck. I know, right? In the river. <laughs> and you wonder which was going to push the other. Mm. I know, you don't really know, but that's the fun part about it. And the reason you leave it, use it, uh, leaving that roof. So pale. It's like the sun is the hitting sun it to me. Yeah. yeah. You could add a little texture to it, maybe. Don't see 
Oh, yeah. yeah. That yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got the, if the sun's coming from Correct. here right. or here. Yeah. Correct, yeah. exactly right. That's, that's, that's beautiful. Sometimes they okay. make this yeah. I don't pay attention well, to where my son is. You guys are giving me good stuff to work son. with. You yeah. really are. You have to remember where you want your egg to come from. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it, it's true. I kind of like not knowing what I'm going to be up against. <laughs> I really do. It's kind of funny. but well, like it's a challenge. You like to challenge yourself. You're always doing something new. Yeah, but the best thing is for us to see... The transformation. Oh, it. You can yeah. save any painting. Yeah. 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 Well, the ones yeah. I threw out. I got one. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Something about it. I see. Let me see. Where did it go wrong? I've kept Where some of the most horrible see. paintings. No, I look well, back at them and I go. I mean, I feel like she's not. No. Yeah. You know what? No one. Likes but then I know how far it comes. I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I want to do that. Look at that. I want to see. Because look at how beautiful that is. Look at that. How village I know. This is Machu Picchu. Yes. Yes. Okay. I think that that. Are you kidding? Yeah.